13 years ago now, I started my window cleaning business and I was broke in a dead end a job with a one bedroom apartment with my wife. I had, was getting ready to marry and we had an eviction notice and I've told the story a lot of times in case you're new here. I got my window cleaning off the business off the ground very quickly in the middle of the freezing winter and was able to uh, get tons of commercial accounts and get into residential uh, homes doing inside, outside, track sill screens and went from having no confidence to building the confidence up to charging, you know, three, four, five, six, seven eight grand, fifteen hundred dollars for cleaning homes and went from being flat broke to sometimes making, you know, twelve to fifteen hundred dollars in a day cleaning windows. Right now I'm actually in my garage home uh, studio working on the laptop, got my glasses on. And I just wanted to say I want to thank you very much for if you have found this channel, if you're trying to get a window cleaning business off the ground or to the next level, I want to encourage you and, and say that you know, it's entirely possible, especially with what we have now on YouTube and all the information. It wasn't like this, you know, as much so 13 years ago. Now you can get it off the ground quickly. And with, with the self-confidence, with the technology and the tools that are avail available that you can grow very quickly, you can build a six-figure business cleaning windows. I'm telling you with them. About two to three years, you could be completely out of your job, doing over a hundred grand a year, and then you can hire employees, move to 150, 250k, three. I mean, you could get into soft washing, pressure washing, roof cleaning, add combo packages, and you could charge 15 bucks a house. And there's people doing millions of dollars cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff. You can get a surface cleaner and start clearing people's driveways, power washing their brick pavers and patios, and now you got to learn how to do all that stuff, you know. But it's cleaning stuff is a huge industry, and you can, uh, like me, um, I know you just turned on this video and I'm just talking your head off. My name is Keith Kelfus. This is the Window Cleaning Blueprint channel. I've made hundreds of videos on this channel. Some of them gotten tens of thousands of views. Some of the videos on this channel have changed people's lives. I'm literally like, I go in like Lowe's and Home Depot and random strangers will walk up to me. Well, they're not strangers because they're people that walk up to me. Like, Dude, I saw, I was watching your video. Your videos helped me start a business. My videos have, um, between this and my other channel, which is the Landscaping Employee Trap, we got 140,000 subscribers over there. My videos over the past nine years have helped start somewhere around 10,000 businesses. Um, and I was one of the first guys to really go out and vlog talking about how to start a landscaping and window cleaning business as I bled every single day and sacrificed everything for 10 years straight to get a fully stable, functioning business, pay off all my debt, take my credit score from horrible and debt collectors calling me to a perfect credit score with money in the bank and a nice house and me and my wife drive brand new cars and trucks and we're financially stable. And what it was for me, the big turning point, was my back was against a wall and I realized I had no other choice. So I wanna ask you, what is going to get you crystal clear to where you're going to become, oh, excuse me, super, super, super passionate and you just decide and you jump all in. You might not want to clean windows. You might not want to do any of this crap. What other choices do you have? I don't necessarily want to clean windows or do landscaping, but here's one paradigm shift that I had that changed my life. Ah. I could become highly passionate about learning how to run a service business and get really good at dealing with customers. I can learn about marketing and advertising and finance and how to manage my money and bank accounts and learn all these different things and learn how to do the operations of a business and learn how to do the production and how to do sales. I can listen to audiobooks while I'm working and literally go out and make hundreds if not thousands but hundreds, hundreds of dollars profit per day and learn all this cool stuff. You can go to live events, get around other people and just accelerate in your hustle and then become proud like i went to the print shop today the embroidery shop and I, i'm upgrading my whole brand and order these nice polo collar this is chance daily hustle he's a entrepreneur but um but polo collar shirts with nice embroidery right and you can have like really nice work clothes and like hire employees and take pride in taking care of them and like there's so much stuff you can do that you can get excited about running a business 
And it gets to the point where like, it doesn't matter if you're doing HVAC, plumbing, drywall, electrical, landscaping, lawn care, window cleaning. It's cool that you're, you're running a business and now you're a business owner. What happens kind of like Jordan Peterson talks about is when you finally like narrow down your focus and you just pick something and you focus on it and you go through the gauntlet, sucks for a little while. It's really hard. But then, then it opens up all this opportunity and you might become the number one window cleaner in your whole town. In four to five years, hundreds of positive five-star reviews on Google, your phone ringing off the hook, you got a receptionist, you got three crews out there working, you're just out doing sales, doing 640000 in a year, making 160000 peer profit after all expenses, you're taking your family on a vacation that you promised them. Like, you guys, you, now it's week, the weekend, you're barbecuing steaks and all these things, and like... You've got brand new furniture all through. You finally got a house, maybe paid off debt. You got brand new furniture and stuff. And it's like things will all come together for you. And then you can use the business as a stepping stone. It was like a training wheels business to, I don't know, invest in Airbnbs and real estate and stocks and bonds and mutual funds and crypto or other businesses. Or you could it, like the people that you'll meet too. Uh, there's, there's so many opportunities that you might not be seeing. You will become friends with clients because when you clean windows, it's a luxury service. I wrote an entire book about this called How to Make $500 a Day Cleaning Windows. Um, you click, go to keithkelfas.com. I put my website and links below. You can get this on audible.com and listen to my book. And I talk about how the, or you can get the paperback too. You can, I talk about how window, I have an entire course called the Window Cleaning Blueprint too. If you go to keithkelfas.com, you go to the courses tab. There's a, there, it's called the Window Cleaning Blueprint course. And it walks you how to, through, how to launch a window cleaning business. That's my shameless plug. <laughs> but, you can, you're not aware. Okay, window cleaning is a luxury service. That means you're you're not begging people to let you clean their windows. You're marketing and advertising to a specific customer who already wants their windows clean and they have disposable income. So what I mean by that is these are people with like cushy six-figure and some seven-figure earners with beautiful homes. We're talking half a million to five million dollar homes, right? You literally might end up cleaning the windows for, for sports stars and celebrities, like huge houses where you're charging like, you know, three grand just to clean the windows. And it becomes an entire thing. Now, once you start meeting these people, like you might do the windows for a guy who lives in a million dollar house and he's a financial advisor. And every time you're there, you kind of become friends and you learn little tips. And he teaches you about a financial group. And then he refers you to his neighbor who's a lawyer and then an accountant. And all. And like next thing you know, you start getting around all these high profile people and you're just the window cleaner. You're embarrassed to be the window cleaner? Ain't nothing wrong with being the window cleaner because the window cleaner's got connections now, right? And then you, you work your way up in your business, man. I've got like 4,700 numbers in my phone. People all over my Tri-City area know who I am, and they know if they need landscaping or window cleaning, they could call me, but they know me, right? It's like I have so many people that I know by out here hustling and making a name for myself in my hometown city. I love my neighbors. I love my city. And I bend over backwards and I work my ass off and I take care of my clients. I make funny videos on social media, which my, my, not a lot of my clients see. But behind the scenes, I'm working my ass off and, and, and with integrity and dignity and honor, honor and respect and taking care of my clients. I've had bad days. I've been vindictive. I've been really upset when I wasn't making the money that I wanted to make. And I've raised the prices and had all these arguments in my head. And I felt like my customers didn't respect me. They didn't really support me. And you'll find out a lot of these customers don't care about you at all. They really don't. They just want their windows clean. I've been ripped off, taken advantage of, you know, and I'm, uh, um, what I was going to say is that I've never ripped anybody off and I don't cut any corners. I do everything like I don't skip windows. I'm like really, really do everything by the book and put my heart on the line. It's a huge honor to be hired by somebody to clean their windows and to get paid hundreds of dollars for it. So it's like I put my heart over the bar so many times and I've been heartbroken. But what I'm saying is like, like I'm not perfect either because I've walked away feeling, like, man, these customers are taking advantage of me. They don't care about all these victim thoughts. You're going to go through all this crap. And one day you'll finally get to the point where you realize all that stuff is learning lessons. And you're like, I went through all that for a reason. 
and nobody has to know you're going through all that head trash. You just show up to work every day and you keep working your ass off, but you're learning all these things. You start getting around other business owners who think the same same stuff, but then you get around some business owners who've been through the gauntlet and they're doing very well. They're making 800000 a year. They've had several businesses. They're making $5 million a year. And you're like, whoa, you learn that there's a whole new level to this. It's called get out of your head, check out of all that, and check into systems, check into strategy, check into higher aspirations all right i'm done here i gotta get back to work but i just want to say if i don't know you i know you now i'm keith kelfis fist bump i know you i support you i support your journey i want to see you hustle and great things i want to see great things for you if you haven't already hit the subscribe button dog Shit. Get on my email list. I have a podcast called The Untrapped Podcast. We just crossed 600,000 downloads. We're putting two shows out a week. The last show we did with Joshua Latimer, I'll put a link below. We're on Spotify, Stitcher, Libsyn, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts. I interviewed Joshua Latimer, multiple six and seven, seven figure business. He's owned like seven or eight businesses. The guy's a business coach. He's coached over a thousand people, and he says stuff that breaks your brain. Like he makes you think, dude. So just listening to this podcast will upgrade your whole mindset. I'm telling you, it's a great podcast. The Untrapped Podcast with Keith Kelfus on Apple and Spotify. All right, I gotta get back to work. Peace.